The owners of a funeral home in Southern Colorado are now facing criminal charges more than a month after investigators found nearly 200 bodies decomposing inside. Investigators arrested John and Carrie Halford in Oklahoma. They're facing several charges, including abuse of a corpse, theft and money laundering. Now they're starting to get in touch with families who used to return to nature funeral home in Penrose. The coroner says they've identified 110 of those bodies so far. The Halfords are now being held on a $2 million cash bond. The DA hopes to get them back to Colorado soon. That's not the only issue we've seen at a Colorado funeral home recently. And victims say there is a reason why this keeps happening. Nearly a thousand families across the state thought that funeral homes handled their loved ones with dignity and care. Instead, the FBI says a funeral home on the western slope sold bodies and the one in southern Colorado we just talked about that left them to decompose. Colorado has very few laws regulating the funeral industry. Our state is actually the only one that doesn't license people who work at funeral homes and victims want that to change. Yeah, the funeral home industry just needs more regulations. They need people checking up, coming in, making sure this body is who it says and it's not done missing the lane. Now for the first time, the state is on board as well. Tonight at 9 and 10, 90 reporter Cole Sullivan shares what regulators want to do and how lawmakers are trying to stop this from happening again.